Good evening, everyone. Let's continue our learning about CSS with respect to different types of selectors, different types of selectors. In the previous video, we learned the basics of syntax and based on writing the CSS, it is divided into three, inline styling, internal and external. Coming to the selectors, let's deep dive into these selectors using internal styling example. Internal styling example. Let me open up the one of the pages which I have used it as this one. Let me copy this. This will be saved as internal. Internal style and selectors example. Which is stored in HTML. So let me remove this. Okay. <clears throat> Element selector, class selector, ID selector, and universal class selector. Let me explain you people the syntax of this using internal styling. Okay, perfect. And we should know how to comment in CSS. This is an example of element selector. This is how you will comment in CSS. Commenting means a piece of code written or explanation which is only considered for documentation, which will be not considered for execution. The first one is element selector. Class selector. P dot Mysore. So now I'll just place font size. This is an example of class selector. You need to specify the name of the tag dot anything which you want to name this will be an example of class selector okay <clears throat> id selector hash bangalore this is id selector i'll have the color and font both. The color will be red. I'll talk, I'll discuss about hexadecimal values in future. For now, just concentrate on the type that is 12 pixels. When you write hash, this is ID selector. Universal class selector means you'll specify dot no tagging before or you can go with star but I'll go with dot now and I'll type it as India. Preferably your CSS class names must be in lowercase preferably. Let me try to have a color. Background color, I'll go with 45, SF, and 45, a random, I don't, don't need this, okay? Save. <clears throat> now, we have selector, we have five paragraphs that will be applied to all the five. Let's see this in action. You can see this one. All the five paragraphs are applied with this selector. How to apply Mysore, Bangalore, India? 
what is this this is id selector and this is also a class selector since it is not specified with any tag it is called as universal class okay now let us try to apply the remaining i'll use class attribute value will be my self let's see what happens p is already applied with a color since i'm adding this class it should be added with this font can you see this next how do i apply id you have to specify the id attribute so this id is having both color and font size let me go with 45 let me see how it gets applied you can see both since color and font size are written in the id both are applied to that paragraph 3 what is universal this can be applied to anyone class you can apply it to body okay or you can apply it to paragraph also or both this is id element selector first one is element second one is class id universal class now let us not stop here let us learn the difference between id and class let us learn the difference between id and class let me create one more file id versus class selector dot html now let me just jump into only those things so this will be a learning about to know the difference between id and class let me write dot example dot sample two classes hash number any you can name anything hash ex two ids and two classes i'll have a color here and i'll have a font size here when you have two classes you can apply both class is equal to double quotes example space sample you can apply both let me remove the additional one to know how it applies you can see this apply so let me do one thing let me remove this and let me reduce the number of lines here to see it in one page we have two ids and two classes i'm trying to apply example which is having the color red apply I can have one more class, which is 
sample it will be applied you can have more than one using space now let me go with id is equal to double quotes i'll go with number i'll go with one more id which is ex i have written nothing here let me do one i'll write it in a single line so i'll try to have a color here which is blue and font size which will be in 100 pixels okay will it be applied yes <coughs> one is applied with the color perfect the other one is applied with the font okay but id cannot be more than one it should be unique and only one if you try to apply like this this is not a class it's an id nothing is applied so this is not allowed this is one of my favorite interview questions what is the difference between id and class this is for the beginners intermediate and experienced and the advanced level we'll do it in the next sessions so what we learned in this session is about the different types of selectors how to write it id that is element selector class selector id and universal class selector and the next session will be an introduction to bootstrap we we'll learn in detail why it is required how it helps us in web development and introduction thank you for watching this video